Hey, 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 happy Friday, everybody. It's Jane from Surface Anthology and Chalk Mercantile. Woo! We made it through the week. It's almost one o'clock here in Connecticut. I hope everybody's doing well. I have a really fun little Christmas or holiday decor um, tutorial I wanna show you, how to make something that's really easy and fun and really beautiful and something that you'll be able to use over and over again because that's that's my jam, right? Being able to use it over again. It's not going to be so chintzy that you can't store it away and um, bring it out next year. All right, let me get my fabulous text group people their link. All right, I sent it off. And we'll close that. So the first thing I want to show you, and what I've been doing, I, I planned on coming on at 11 today, but I've got so much new stuff and I'm going to show you part of it that I was loading that onto the computer. Hey, Julie, how are you doing today? Happy Friday. <laughs> it's almost the weekend. And as I think I said yesterday in my membership, in the Surface Anthology membership, it's two months until Christmas, and then it's New Year's, and then it's 2023. I can't believe it. So let me show you what is new, and I am loving, let's adjust this camera. You get a nice view of my coffee, my computer. Shannon, good morning. I know it's more, is it still morning over there? I think it is, right? Um. I got a bunch of these new mesh stencils, and I also, a, a bunch that were out of stock are now back in stock. So if you go to chalkmercantile.com and just uh, search stencils or click on stencils, you'll see them all. But look at this one. It's called Kissing Booth. And it's too, look at that bird. Uh, I'm just I'm just loving it. And look at all these cool little designs, postmarks. Amanda, hey, hey, hey. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> How are you doing today? Glad it's Friday, I bet. And this is just adorable. So it's a two-pack, right, of all this cool stuff, but that bird really got me. So I had to have it. So that is new. And then I got a bunch of the new Christmas. Isn't that cute, Julie? I know. I'm just, where am I going to put that bird? Um, a bunch of new Christmas stuff that is absolutely incredible. We've got script. These can go, these can be used beyond Christmas. There's script, there's music, um, Merry Christmas, this fabulous stags, right? Three of them. And this one is called Dear Collage as opposed to Dear College, like I thought. So how cute is that? And here's another, it's a reindeer, and I love him. But you can just isolate the deer and this other stuff. I mean, you can pull these apart and make it your own. And really sweet, and is this a two-pack? I don't think that this, no, it is a two-pack, I think. Let's open and see, Jane. It's called Joy to the World. And I want to do my Christmas cards because I just thought that would be so much fun. And I'm one of these people I agonize over Christmas cards. And why not make your own? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe you get two. <laughs> two. Or maybe this is a mistake. I don't know. So I'm going to check with um, with Amy, Amy Howard, right? But how sweet is that? And again, you can use just the berry branch, just the ornament, the candy cane. I might use that for my hot chocolate station. And let me tell you, I'm doing a whole photo shoot of this hot chocolate station when I get. I'm waiting for, I made such a huge amount of hot chocolate mix that I need a really giant jar and I got rid of all my big antique, I sold them all when I closed my shop, um, ball jars, you know, all, all the canning jars, acre hacking, all that stuff, really old ones. 
I had my poor husband yesterday. I'm like, where are they? And he's like, Jane, you sold them. You didn't want to bring them up. So now I have to buy one. Look at this one. Oh, reindeer sleigh rides, warm blankets, hot cocoa. I can't wait. That's called Oh What Fun. And then this one I just love. You can make your own placemats with brown craft paper and just stencil this stuff on it. It's so sweet. And again, you get these little elements that you could use by themselves, like this amazing laurel wreath, which I love. And this is one I kind of went back and forth about. I'm like, wheat. A lot of us are trying not to eat wheat, right? <laughs> I love wheat. I love pasta. Help me. I love bread. It's awful. But this is so beautiful. These wheat. I would put this on furniture. Um, look at this. Look at the wheat um, wreath. And then, of course, this one down here. This is like so up my alley. I love it family and you could put a name in there. I just love it. Now here's another, it is, it's two mesh stencils. And this one is, oh, that was show, I don't have to open this one. What is this called? It doesn't say, but you'll see the picture. This one's different. I love it. It's more contemporary. It's more kind of modern. You know, you'll see these illustrations um, in this style. How cute is that for your own cards though? Look, look at that. I love this deer. What is he? Does he see Santa? I don't know. <laughs> oh my God, Jane, stop. <laughs> Deborah. That's what I was saying. I'm like hyperventilating. <gasps> this is all so beautiful. Aren't they Shannon? Shannon's like, they're all beautiful. This one I adore. Now, this morning, we're surrounded by woods and we don't, we never planted a lawn you know, much to my husband's disappointment. I'm like, we don't need a lawn, just whatever grows, grows. We can mow an area we're in. We love, we love all the wildlife here. And this one is just killer. It's got mushrooms, birds, deer. Um, isn't that a pheasant? No, what is that called? The, a partridge. I'm thinking the partridge family. <laughs> <laughs> owls. My husband this morning was yelling um, from his little office upstairs. He goes, one of our flying squirrels is out on the tree. I've never seen it. And he saw it and I didn't see it. So I was like running around like an, a lunatic. But like, how cute is this? I just love it. And for cards, it would be so beautiful. You can stencil these pine cones and then put like a really fine dusting of a clear glitter, of course, German glass glitter, and it would be a beautiful card. And yeah, so if you're doing your pantry or cards, oh, look at this, the little tiny jar with all the utensils and the teapot. Oh, I just love this. Paris, fabulous, fabulous. And that's called Frames and Phrases. This goes on and on. More Christmas. Look at these, right? Really sweet. You could do your own tags. Oh my God, look at that little snowman. Your own cards. But here, this one, I'm super excited about. Look at this. It's like a Courier in Ives engraving. And I don't know if it could be Courier in Ives. I know at some point, illustrations, artwork becomes copyright free like music. But look at this. I'm dying. I'm just dying. I just love this. Shannon, Shannon's saying, if I saw a flying squirrel, I would flip. <laughs> and you go cuckoo over normal cute squirrels. Absolutely. We've got flying squirrels and, you know, we had to have a couple of trees trimmed. We've got big old real old growth oaks that were threatening to fall on our house. So we just didn't have an option anymore. And when the man came, the crew, he went up this tree and he says, I see little eyes looking at me from that tree. So he took off just the big top part that was threatening to fall on our bedroom. And he, and he said they all came out and he freaked out. You know, he didn't panic, he didn't fall out. 
but he's like, you've got a really good nest in there. So, and I've heard people say, well, you could put peanut butter on trees and you'll see them. They don't really fly, right? Like Rocky, they glide and they're just adorable. You know, I've seen pictures. I haven't seen any. I call them mine. They're not mine, right? Look at this. Could you die? I just love this. And again, you mix up in different colors, all these little elements. I just love it. That's berries and branches, more nature, right? Birds and berries. But look at this one. Oh, be still my heart. It's wings. Oh, look at I love these wings. Look at this. I got to show my friend Joni of weathered wings. This is a big stencil. And these wings are just exquisite. And you get four wings, and then you can put, you can decoupage one of those engraved angel faces or a really primitive one, like 17th century, that you'd see like on a gravestone or something. But, or just these wings. I just thought those were stunning. Last one, and then we're gonna make something, is this breathtaking, and this is a really big one too. It's it's Venetian damask or damask. How do you all say that? I don't even know. Hey, hey, Sandy. Good to see you. I'm showing off new stuff. But remember, if you if you catch me late, you can watch the replay. No worries. But look at this, right? You guys, in the membership, we could put this on furniture and it would be absolutely amazing. So how cool is that? And speaking of membership, for everybody out there, the membership is now open. The Surface Anthology membership. In fact, I'm going to put a link in here and come and join us. It's $23 a month. I've got some ladies on with me now, some fabulous ladies that are in the membership. It's a really, really wonderful, giving, and very, very creative artistic group. We're all ladies right now, right? We welcome you guys if you want to come in because I know that um, there's a lot of men who are doing beautiful, beautiful work um, on furniture and decorative painting, and I don't know where they are. <laughs> I don't see them a lot. Maybe you guys do, but I know, Julie, aren't they gorgeous? Um, anyway, I'm going to put this in the comments for the membership. And I'll be sending out emails and talking about it nonstop for a week. Now, I want to get in a little bit closer so I could show you what I'm doing here. Let's see if this works. Yes. All right. So I, I've got a lot of new stuff in. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys. And I know, I think it was Sandy's. Hey, Cynthia, good to see you. Aren't they beautiful? I know. I, Sandy, are you the one who's using the chalk art inks? I got some of these chalk art inks to start out with. I got black, silver, metallic, and gold metallic just to try them out, just to wet my feet. And I also got the glass engraving so we can en engrave those um, holiday glasses, right? Ugh. All right. Now, this I'm really excited about. So, and I just listed these two because I know people are going to ask me. These are little, um, I don't know what you'd call them, little boards, but they're really, really sturdy. They're already kind of washed with this whitewash. If you remove this, you can make a shadow box, which I've done. And they're great for, they call them shelf sitters, right? Or they have something you can hang them on. Not you, Sandy. I wonder who it was. I'm so bad with names. And I'm so, I'm like, somebody's like, yeah, I use the inks. They use the inks more than the chalk art paste. So these are six by six. And again, they're really thick. And I wanted to do something with these, with one of these. It, that doesn't involve paint today. So here we go. So I'm going to decoupage with my new to me Tim Holtz, or is it Jim Holtz? Tim Holtz. 
um, uh, collage paper and it's called Christmas or Noel it's called. So I'm gonna dump out a whole bunch of my decoupage medium. Close this up. But these are great and if you look behind me, where is it? Yeah, on top of our fancy French chalkboard you'll see a little um, barn quilt. This is what I used for that barn quilt and, and it's such a great size and they're really well made. But I want to do something different here. So, first thing I have to do is pick out what part I want to use. Now, since I'm going to put something red in the middle of a mold, I am going to pick this part out that says Yuletide, and I'm just going to lay this down. And this happens to be the perfect size. It's six inches wide. Shannon, what an incredible idea. Shannon is saying, engrave those wings into a window or mirror. Shannon, can you imagine? And then one of the techniques we learned in the um, membership was how to make a mirror with a piece of glass. So you could actually stencil the wings onto the back of the glass, engrave them onto the front, and then do you know the glass spray and paints and all that. Shannon, that is a challenge I think I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to find, um, and I do, I go to Goodwill and I find frames, you know, frames with glass and I make them over. So that's what I'm gonna do. Thank you, Shannon. Shannon, it has really amazing ideas. And that's one of the best things about the membership is that you can't, you can, you can create only so much in a vacuum, right? It's like when I was in art school. You need others around you for feedback, for ideas, to bounce ideas off of, um, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel, right? And that's what's so great about it. Just like that idea that Shannon just shared, which I love. All right, I'm making a mess out of this because I'm not doing the, the wet technique. Now, I am not a big decoupager. That's not my thing that I do like all the time. And I didn't even know about that whole technique where you just wet it until one day I was doing, actually I'll just do it on this side. Um, I was on one of these lives and somebody said, Jim, why don't you just wet it? And I'm like, why wet it? What is that gonna do? Well, it helps the paper wrap, right? Okay, now right down this side. And I am gonna use my glitter on this. All right, see, so much easier. <laughs> so whoever told me that, thank you, <laughs> Deborah. <laughs> Deborah's saying all are fabulous, I guess I'm going shopping. Yep, I'm telling you, and remember Deborah, if you keep your if you keep your stencils and everything in good shape, you can use them over and over again. And they're all classic designs, right? There's nothing that's gonna go out. Okay, so there's my um, decoupage paper where I want it. So I'm just gonna grab my decoupage medium. And I'm using Authentico here, but you can use any decoupage. Of course, there's Mod Podge, right? That's been around forever. The only thing is I would use matte. I would not go shiny with this. I don't go shiny with a lot of stuff, I know. And there's probably people that love shiny. If you love shiny, do it, right? Do what you love. All right, and then you're gonna place this down. And then if I had my sanding block, you could just take a sanding block and you just hit the edge if there's any um, 
little bits like this hanging off. All right, that looks good. And then go over this. Man, Shannon, that idea you had, I'm thinking now, that, that is, that could be absolutely incredible. And what a gift that would be, right? Wow. All right, now I'm gonna dry this really quick way. Oop, don't lose my paper. cards you can make cards if you use heavy enough stock in the paper you can decoupage and then stencil you can do all kinds of stuff it's amazing what you can do right all right so there's oh I've got my computer over here we'll get put that there so there's our show uh oh <laughs> Joni, Joni, hold on, hold on, you're gonna freak out. <gasps> Ta-da! What do you think, Joni? Aren't they beautiful? Look at these, and they're large, so I would say, I've got my ruler, I was good today. They're about, the largest one is about 12 inches or a little bit more um, the, the horizontal way. But aren't they beautiful, Joni? I just love them. And Shannon had the idea of putting these on a mirror or a piece of glass or making a mirror, and it would be amazing. My idea was to put the wings on either side of like an engraved angel head. Yes, these are mesh. And I've been having, since I've been using, Joni, just the chalk art, right? The, I mean, the yeah, the chalk art paste. No issue with the stencils getting cleaned out really easily and completely. That was my big anxiety with bringing the mesh stencils back into my shop. And I just got so nervous that, you know, I can't clean these stencils. And it's really, really easy. You just always have to have a pan or a bucket of water near you. And when you're done with the stencil, and this is using the chalk art paste, you just um, put the stencil right into the water. All right. So there's... But I know, Joni, I was like, oh my God, I have to show. I, Joni's going to freak out. There's our little um, decoupaged board. And now what I want to do is I'm going to glue, and this is from the frames mold, but I'm going to glue this onto the back. Hang on, I got to get my tacky, heavy-duty glue. My husband took the tight bond that has the cap that I like. So now I'm using this, and these aren't even open. So you've gotta put glue, and I really do love the tight bond. Yes, yeah, so pretty. Oh, Joni, I knew you would love them. All right, let's see, look at this glue. Oh no, we just got this. Oh my God, this is like a little too, ew, let's see, there we go, I'm telling you, I think it's the, I think it is the, um, the cap, like this is a brand new thing of tight bonds. It's like I found out Rust-Oleum was, I mean, Rust-Oleum bought 
Zinsser and some other companies, and all of a sudden, the products are just different. All right, so spread this around. I'm really blobbing it on. And this is a dry stencil. I mean, mold, totally dry. And I'm eyeballing this, but you can take your ruler while the glue is still wet and you can look at it from side to side. That looks good. And then we don't want it to go like wonky. You want it to be straight. So if you're really wanting it to really be straight before you glue this down, you would find your middle part, your middle line here, three inches, right? And then you would put this little motif right at the three inch mark and then the same with the top. And that looks good. Then I'm going to press down. All right, and then we're going to decoupage this little piece that I have with the berries, because I just love that, right in the middle. And you could pick any part of, um, you know, obviously the, the Tim Holtz or Jim Holtz papers. I'm brushing this on. And then just putting this down. Now, if, if it bothers you, I love this, that it's coming out a little bit, you can take a toothpick and just push this back, the green, you know, if you want a really clean edge. I'm just using my fingernail. And it's the way, because I was in a big hurry to um, show everybody what's going on in the shop. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm going to dry this, and then we're going to put some beautiful German glass glitter. Um, no, Deborah, I don't think it does. Deborah is asking. <laughs> oh, my God, look at everybody has glue problems, right? Would etching cream damage the stencil? No, because that's what they use. They use the etching cream to etch all these designs on glass, so... I can't imagine that it would, because I don't think they'd be able to sell it. But you know, Deborah, we're gonna we're gonna do an experiment, and I will tell you, because I really want to put hot chocolate on my glass, you know, container for my hot chocolate mix. So I'll let you know, and hope, maybe I'll do it during a live. All right, so there's that. And Joellen, hi Joellen, mine always gets clogged. <laughs> Shannon, I know, I'm having glue issues. You know what? It's the top. My husband stole the one that has that little top. And if you if you watch my videos over on um, Surface Anthology on YouTube, you'll see me like, I love this spout on, on this kind of um, type on. And they stopped making it. And that spout just stopped everything from clogging. It was great. All right, now for our German glass get glitter. I'm gonna get my glitter works out here. And this is one, and I have to polish it. You can pick up these, these beautiful uh, sterling plated um, trays and uh, dishes like this. This is from the International Silver Company, Company, and it's heavy. And I can tell you this is copper underneath. They're beautiful, right? Kathleen, hi there. Kathleen is saying etching cream does not ruin the stencils. I've done it. You just clean it right away. So Kathleen, it sounds like that's the key to the mesh stencils. 
you have to clean them immediately, right? That's, that's the thing. All right, so now I am going to put some glitter all around here. And I've just got my snow glitter. It's just clear glitter, and I, I mix it up in a couple of grits just to give it a little bit of a you know different look. Another thing I wanted to show you, because somebody asked me about layering. I was looking for her yesterday in the membership. But you could also layer. Look at how beautiful that is. That's the cameos mold. So you can just, you know, instead of doing the decoupage, you flatten that a little bit while it's drying. And then you can layer this beautiful um, lady from the cameos mold glitter only this frame and maybe the flowers in her hair and you've got a really beautiful make three of these like a triptych you've got a really beautiful decoration for the holidays all right whereas now i've got my elmer's glue right this is what i use to glitter and actually i'm just going to put it next to my decoupage and you don't need a lot and then I just use my brush. And then just brush anywhere you want glitter. You can also use Aileen's Tacky Glue and the Type Bomb, but you just need to thin them down with a little bit of like lukewarm water. And as far as I'm concerned, and I know Joni is the same way, we cannot have enough glitter. All right, that looks good. I think this frames mold is a mold I've used more than any other mold. I just love it. All right, I just grab a spoonful of glitter. It's like a spoonful of sugar. I've got my tray, because this glitter is not inexpensive, so we don't want to waste it. And I just shake. All around. And then shake that off. And look at how pretty that is. And hopefully you could see that. It's really icy, really, really beautiful. I just love that. And when the more the glue dries down, the more the crystals in the, um, the glass really, really glitter, right? I know, Joni's saying, yes, glass glitter. No one wants to polish silver anymore, Deborah's saying. Oh, you know what? I just got one of those cloths that I use, and I love it. You know, like here's my, I have a whole set of these that I found, actually. This is sterling all the way through, and I love it. You know, I just think it's so pretty. Oh, thank you. Hey, Danielle. Thanks, you guys. But look at how beautiful that is, and you can really... Have fun layering, right? I mean, look at how gorgeous she is for a Victorian kind of Christmas decor idea. Let me pull her off there. But I just love this. And you put three of these up on your mantle. You can also go around the edge and put some glitter if you want. But they're really, really beautiful. I know people are using, you know, they're doing those tear trays. You can make these for a tiered tray. You could just put them around and they just bring that whole seasonal um, vibe to your decor. So I love them. Danielle is saying, I use the cloth too to polish silver. Absolutely, Danielle. I bought one of those and I just use it over and over again. I love it. Um, I don't have tons of sterling, but like this, is really easy to keep polished. I just like the feel of it anyway because it's really heavy. And, you know, I'm keeping everything like 
super fancy, right, Joni? I've got, you know, I don't use plastic. I'm not going to go use styrofoam plates. You know, that's horrendous. When you can go to Goodwill and get these for nothing. I mean, nothing. It's crazy. Hey, Donna. Hi there. First time. It's like first time caller. First time watching you. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh, Donna, thank you so much. I love it. I'm going to make two more of these. And, and I'm going to, I'm starting to decorate. I don't care. You guys, I'm like, I'm, I've started putting stuff around. I've got my hot chocolate station down in my kitchen and I, I like to extend the Christmas holiday, you know, new Year's season. I like to make it last really long. I don't want to put up my tree and then a week later, take it down. Um, I love just all of that. You know, I start with my, I start listening to the um, Gir Vince Giraldi trio, right? The Charlie Brown music, the jazz I love. Deborah's saying, what's Christmas without German glitter? Exactly, right? It just doesn't exist, I think, right? I love German glass glitter. Uh, Joni does beautiful project, Weathered Wings, with German glass glitter. And it just adds so much to everything, right? Oh, thank you, Deborah. Michelle, hi there. My trees are up. Michelle says, I'm getting ready. Good for you, right? Don't let anybody tell you you're rushing the holidays. To me, I think we're extending them, and I think we deserve it. We've been through some hard years, right, with, the, with COVID and with everything, and now we get to see people, and I am really going to extend it. <laughs> Joni, you're you drinking your cayenne pepper chocolate? <laughs> you know what? We did have a cup last night. And you know what my husband said? He goes, Jane, are you gonna tell them all about your Baileys? <laughs> we like to add Baileys for an adult drink for you know special dinners. You put a little bit of Baileys or Kahlua into your um, hot chocolate. Joni, have you ever tried, what is that stuff that tastes like cinnamon? What is it like fire, fire something, hot, hot something? Oh, I can't remember now. What is the name of it? But if you want to add like a Mexican flair to your hot chocolate, you add cinnamon. Oh my God. So, but Kahlua or Bailey's tastes really, really good. Joni, what is the name of that cinnamon liqueur? <laughs> Joni's like, well, that's different. Everybody, so this is it. I, I, I brought out, I was going to show you all like all these different little molds on this. But, you know, have fun. Have fun with your molds. If you make them while they're wet and you start moving them around and you don't like them, you squish them back up and you remold them. Fireball. I wonder if you could put fireball. Donna's like fireball. <laughs> Isn't Firestarter the name of a movie? It's like I can't even remember. But you could make like a cinnamon hot chocolate, right? We'll have to try it for sure. Um, but anyway, you guys, so new stuff is at chalkmercantile.com. The membership is open. I'm going to send out a whole bunch of emails and letting everybody know because it's going to be open for about a week and then it's going to close and we're not going to open again until next year. Oh, Deborah. Deborah is saying, I made bags out of Pacific cloth to store my silver. Now, Deborah, are you the one who told me about the Pacific cloth a while back? And that's the cloth that they line really good jewelry boxes with so your silver dose doesn't tarnish, right? Amanda's saying, I had a friend make me some Kahlua chocolate bombs for my birthday last year. So tasty. Oh, Amanda, you have to share, like, does she sell them or does she have a recipe? Share that. I'd love to see that. That sounds delicious. Um, Joy to you and me is saying also like peppermint schnapps. There you go. And Joy, can't you get cinnamon schnapps too? But peppermint schnapps in your cocoa would be amazing. And Carol, hi there. Carol is saying with apple cider too. Oh, yummy. So all these hot drinks, right, that we could add a little bit of adultness into is really, really yummy, you guys. And by the way, all the orders going out, I've, start, I've started putting in my 
my hot chocolate recipe. So you'll all get that for sure. Everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. Happy Friday. Um, I hope you all get some time over the weekend to do something creative, to have some fun, um, and to think about the holidays and start kind of, you know, bringing out what makes you happy, right? What you love and what brings you that good, warm feeling that we all love at this time. Everybody have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you back here on Monday. Take